either, guys. After our ship left Jakarta, it took us about three days to reach our next loading port, Muara Sangkulirang, which is also in Indonesia. Unfortunately for us, this was a very remote place. And since the loading operations took place at the Anchorage area, there was absolutely no chance for us whatsoever to go on shore leave. Plus, we had a very, very, very poor internet signal. However, since the sea condition was quite calm, it gave us the opportunity to launch our lifeboat and rescue boat, which is kind of cool. So let's check it out. The rescue boat, as the name implies, is used to carry out rescues in case of a man overboard situation. During actual emergencies, the rescue team can ride the rescue boat while it is being lowered by the crane. However, for safety reasons, we decided to lower the boat unmanned and the crew embarked using the ladder. After securing the rescue boat, we then proceeded to lower the lifeboat using the David. Although our lifeboat is designed for freefall launching, again for safety purposes, we launched it unmanned and the boat crew embarked using a ladder. Of course during actual emergencies where time is of the essence, the lifeboat should be launched by freefall.
repairing the boat and running them in the water is required to be carried out at least every six months. In most ports, however, it is not allowed to lower the boats so the opportunity usually comes while the ship is at anchor. But even at the anchorage area, the weather or the sea condition sometimes prevents launching. That's good. So as soon as conditions are favorable, it is advisable to take advantage and launch the boats at the first opportunity.